Hello everyone, welcome to another video from windowslovers.com. This is me, your host Prajwal, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can send an encrypted email using Gmail. So, let's get started. Alright, so this is a feature maybe most of you or a lot of you are not familiar where you can send a encrypted or a locked uh, email in Gmail to any email provider. So it can be from Gmail to Gmail, from Gmail to Outlook. There's a couple of differences when you send it to a different provider or Gmail to Gmail, which we will look into this guide. So, but before we get started, please leave a thumbs up if this was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave in the comments and subscribe for more. So for example, if I wanna send a email to someone else and I want that to be password protected or encrypted so that no one else except that person or whoever the person that has a passcode for that email is able to view that, all right? So another thing is, so Gmail has something called a protected mode. So if you enable protected mode for any email, the first thing is that person will have to have a passcode to access that email. Second thing is there you can set a time frame before which that email will have to be opened. And if that time frame is uh, breached or exceeded that person won't be able to view that email after that end date okay so if I click on compose and if I send an email to myself we'll just name it as test protected email and just test all right so how do you enable test so this is very the protected mode is subjective to every email you send out so at the bottom right corner, you will see there is a lock with a timer. And if you hover your mouse, it will say turn confidential mode on and off. So if you click on that, it will say that confidential mode, you can set an expiry and require passcode. So the expiry is sort of like an end date for that email, which uh, if the user or if tries to open that email after that time, they won't be able to access it and another thing is require passcodes right, so they will need to have a passcode to access that protected email now there's two different scenarios one says no sms passcode the other one says sms passcode um, sms passcode is pretty much self-explanatory so if you select that option what happens is you will enter the phone number of the receiver and then the receiver will receive that email and receive a separate text on the phone uh, with the code at which they will enter and then next the email another one is no sms passcode so this one's a bit different and will depend on which service provider you will send your email to for example if you send out from gmail to gmail selecting no sms passcode what happens is that person will be able to view that straight away there's no um there's nothing protected uh, as in in the sense that there, there's no password or passcode needed now if you send out to for example from your gmail account to a hotmail account or any other email providers when you select no sms passcode they will receive a link where they will have they will click the link and then they will have to follow the instructions to get the code and then access it so i most of the time use sms passcode for the purpose of the video i'll just use no sms passcode click on save and then at the bottom as you can see it says content expires on 29 december so after that's done the person won't be able to access this email and another on top of that since it's a protected email they won't be able to forward copy print or download that email as well so once that's done once you've prepared your email hit send and that's how you send a protected email using Gmail.